an example like this, basically we know that this is greater than 2 pi. 23 pi over 6 is some big angle because if we're going we to break this up, and we know halfway around is pi. Well, if we were going to break this up into 6, right? 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. We could do the bottom and keep on counting all the way to 23 if we wanted to, but that's a little bit more work than we need to. We know that all the way around a circle is 2 pi, which is equal to 12 pi over 6. Would you guys agree with me on that? Yes? All the way around, circles 2 pi or 12 pi over 6. So what I can use is what we call period as an aid. I can rewrite 23 pi as 12 pi over 6 plus 11 pi over 6. So what that really is means is you're doing 12 pi over 6 plus 11 pi over 6. So in reality, 12, 23 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6 are what we call coterminal angles. Hence, what you guys are supposed to be doing for your warm up. So, all I really need to do is just calculate 11 pi over 6. Well, if I know 12 pi over 6 is all the way around, 11 pi is just going to be one little sixth short. Correct? All the way around is 12 pi. So, if you're at 11 pi, you're just one pi over 6 short. Correct? And we could say that theta prime, the reference angle, how far is it from the terminal side to there, is just going to be pi over 6. So I look at my unit circle and I say, what is that coordinate point for pi over 6? Because before our quiz, we need to know what that coordinate point is. That coordinate point at pi over 6 is going to be, anyone? Square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So the cosine of that represents the x coordinate, which is squared, or we could just say square root of 3 over 2. However, it's in the fourth quadrant. Is cosine still positive in the fourth quadrant? Yeah. So that's your answer. Square root of 3 over 2. We're going to do more practice with this.